Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, looking at the flags are still at half mast day after Columbus Day. Remember Christopher Columbus, the great American guy, that <laughs> historical figure who cruised over on a ship from Europe, allegedly discovered America, and now he's a racist. <laughs> it's funny how that happens. So I want to, this this might be winded, but I'm out, out and about and uh, feeling good about myself, feeling good about myself. Say, Conti, how do you feel so good about yourself? You got the whole, you got the whole, you got no job, you got no money, you got no, you got no love. What's going on, man? How are you feeling so good? I'll tell you how I feel so good. Because it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm taking care of myself. I'm out, just ran five miles, vegan, vegetarian, had my nice vegetable shake, exercise, diet, rest when you can, don't listen to the bullshit, don't watch mainstream media. That'll pollute, that pollutes your mind, don't pollute your mind. You go to, even the, the you know, university, educa education university, I'm trying to clean myself up today, clean myself up today. A couple of questions I want to answer, uh, yes, a lot of the videos are encoded, there is a code, you know, but don't, don't sweat about that, that's not, that's not going out to agencies or anything, that's just, that's just people that I know that are... The little help that I have is uh, is is out there, you know, pitching in. So one day I'll release the code and you'll see what it is, and it's basically about transferring info and stuff. But right, so, but anyway, so uh, so so what I want to talk about yesterday, I did a video about. Uh, I'm I'm diving in, okay? I'm diving into the to, to the to the part of the story about how race is used as a weapon, how race is people of color are used as a kind of a human shield to keep the corruption in place. And yes, yes, people of color that I work for, yes, I am calling you ignorant. Yes, I am. I am, in fact, pointing my finger and saying you're 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 ignorant because you're supporting the wrong people. Right. You're 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 in bed with the, the, the actual people that are causing you the problem, that are causing you the pain, that are causing you oppression. When someone like me stands up, you throw me under the bus, right? Okay, I'm pointing out corruption, I'm pointing out racism. Oh, they're coming to get me. They're coming to get me. Coming to get me. Right? I'm pointing out the corruption and you guys are throwing me under the bus, okay? So anyway, but that's that's besides the point. I, we're, this all... I, at some point, the story is going to come back to... It all comes back to Bernie Sanders. It all comes back to Bernie. There's... Bernie Sanders, in 2016, I was fired in 2015, but in 2016, Bernie Sanders, if you're not familiar, if you're, if you're still sleeping, Bernie Sanders was a Democratic primary candidate, and he ran against Hillary Clinton, and he was cheated, basically. There was massive corruption, massive, um, the, the, there's so much of it, I, I'm not going to go into it, if you, if you want more information about it, look at... Uh, Debbie Lusigna, the same progressive, has covered it extensively. H.A. Goodman is still talking about the same same shit over and over. Tim Black, those guys. Young Turks did talk about it, but they're not talking about it anymore. But Bernie Sanders was out now cheated. The exit polls didn't match up. From state to state to state, he was cheated. You know, in Brooklyn alone, I, I mean, I, I'm, in, I'm in Brooklyn right now, and 100,000 uh, votes got thrown in the garbage. 100,000 voters were not allowed to vote. So, we it's going to come, it comes back to Bernie. It comes back to Bernie Sanders. And what Bernie Sanders said initially was, the change happens from the bottom down. It doesn't happen from the top up. I, I always said, oh, well, Bernie, you're, you're fucking crazy. Let's talk about the politics. Let's get, let's weed out the politicians. Let's get them. Let's get them out of, let's get them out of, out of power. And then we could have equal rights and equal justice and income e equality. How you doing? Right? But that's not what happened. What happened was they threw him under the bus, right? They, 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 the oligarchs couldn't have that. They, they can't have a guy talking about raising the minimum wage and term limits and getting money out of politics and dissolving Citizens United to get money out of politics to hold banks accountable for the fraud, abuse, for, for you know, 
they can't have that. So they threw him under the bus and they cheated. So, you know, and the other thing I'll say about Bernie Sanders, two more things and then and I'll move on. Bernie Sanders is, is someone that for 40 years you can look on YouTube, right? And every time there's an issue of, every time there's a controversial issue, uh, a, a problem in society, there's a, there's a video of Bernie Sanders standing in Congress arguing back and forth the solution. He's giving you the, he gives you the answer, the, the gut honest answer, and nobody wanted to hear him. Nobody was listening, right? Some of those, some of those talks you can find, he, he's standing in Congress by himself yelling and screaming. And nobody's listening. Shot a Manhattan behind Oh. But anyway, that's, um, we come back to Bernie. The other thing is, if you're going to post negative Bernie Sanders shit below, I'm going to delete you. I'm going to delete you. Well, you know what? I won't delete your comment. I'll make you look like an ass. You go ahead and do it. But Bernie Sanders, yeah, yeah, yeah. He jumped on the bandwagon with, with, um, with Russia and all that stuff. But let me tell you something. I know what it feels like to get stepped on and, and Bernie Sanders, I'm not talking about Bernie Sanders now. I'm talking about Bernie Sanders in 2016 when he was when he was running and he was voicing, "People stand up, people stand up, people stand up, stand up for yourself. Don't let them divide us." Right? That's the Bernie Sanders I'm talking about. And if he jumped on the bandwagon with Russia and 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 uh, he had to, he had to, he had to do what he had to do to stay alive. Okay, so I get that. So we're not gonna we're not gonna be bashing Bernie. Bernie is the messenger. All right, so. So anyway, so there's this. Uh, see, it comes. See, it comes down. My my case is about is about institutional corruption, where a ticket quota is used to rally the troops. Right? Is to 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 uh, to, to run people over with with you know with illicit tickets, an illicit ticket quota. Right? And there's this this scam going on in New York through the Department of Sanitation. And here comes a guy like me who's, who, who sees it. I take the job and I see it and I, and I, and I point, I, I say gently, hey, by the way, there is, you know, there is this corruption. And I say, well, how the hell does it stay in place? How the hell, how the hell, how is it that all these people can see the problem, but nobody does anything about it? Right? How is that possible? Right? And it comes down, I, I'm, I, I'm a morning person, I'm up and my brain fires better in the morning. If you see a video and I look sleepy, it's probably at night. But how, how is it possible that a corrupt system like that comes into play? Well, as I said a minute ago, you, you, surround, you surround the place with ignorant people that don't know that what's going on and don't give a shit. You pluck them out of poverty or you pluck them out of, you, you find them, and then you elevate them to positions of power. Yes, I just said that. Yes, I did say that. Because that's exactly what it is, okay? And above them are the people that are, you know, the, the puppeteers, right? Those are the puppets, and these are the puppeteers. The puppeteers are running the show, right? So, you know, and it does come down to, to, to it goes all the way up the chain, because I'm in New York City. This is New York City politics, okay? We're talking about the very people. We're talking about Wiener and Schneiderman and, and, and Chuck Schumer and Hillary Clinton, you know, and, and, and de Blasio. These, these are the people, these are the Democratic players. I, I'm in it, right? There's only one step between the agency I worked at, Department of Sanitation, and the mayor, right? So there's the corruption, right? That is corruption. That is the definition of corruption, okay? You have a corrupt system a corrupt practice held in place by by a, a discriminatory by discrimination okay that's how you that's how you keep it in place and anybody who comes near it you attack you attack you you get the you get the most ignorant people that don't give a shit right and you attack you encircle you encircle them and you attack them and you get rid of them right and then because it's all one party, right? Try to complain. See what happens. So you go down to discrimination court. What do you get? You get people like Helen Diane Foster. I did a video, full video on her at the, the you know New York State Division of Human Rights. They throw you right under the bus. Ah, white privilege. White privilege. Uh, white privilege. You can't have. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about you you want you want equal rights and 
and there's discrimination going on, throw you under the bus. She's hand-picked. She's a hand-picked tool, right? In charge of the New York State Division of Human Rights, right? Her decision bars you from seeing from your Seventh Amendment right, which is the right to a jury, the right, you have a constitutional right to have your case tried at a jury, in front of a jury of my peers in a civil case, right? So New York State Division of right, Human Rights gets in the way of that and they cut, they cut you out of the equation. No, 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 no. We, we decide, we decide. And then when they decide, which they barely, <laughs> they, they've already made the decision. You're, you're, you're a, a middle, a middle-aged white guy with white privilege. Get the hell out of here. We got a, we got an operation to run, right? So you get thrown into the court system. Then you find yourself down on 60 Center Street in front of a couple of judges, civil service, you know, Supreme Court, very, you know, very dignified Supreme Court judges, and you present your case and they throw you under the bus too because they just simply see, see the agency, New York's, the, 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 the Department of Sanitation has their EEO department and they make the decision, right? So, so the puppets are stacked on top of each other. The first puppet attacks you, right? in the workplace, tries to get rid of you. And they use discrimination, they use retaliation, they use anything they can because they know that they, that the, that the board is rigged in their favor. And then when you, as you move up the ladder, they just agree with each other. They agree with each other all the way up to the top, right? So you have, you have the, 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 the initial sin, which is discrimination and retaliation, right? Right for speaking up about the quota, right? You have that's the that's the original sin, original sin. It's called that. That's the original sin, and then it gets stacked on top of each other, and then you finally get the Supreme Court, and 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 and, and they just they just they just categorically agree with everything below them. So that's how the that's how the corruption stays in place, right? Right. Now, there's other things in politics, okay? So that's also attached to the higher the higher problems that we're seeing in this country. Currently, if you look at what George Webb, big fan of George Webb. How you doing, George? You ever see this? Uh, how you doing, George? I'm in New York. Look me up. Because um, I know he's, he's sometimes in New York and he's sometimes in D.C. Here's a guy doing wonderful work. He's out there banging the pavement, exposing a spy ring in Congress. Okay. Now there is a spy ring in Congress. The Awan brothers, they they infiltrated. You always wondered. Like I came from a, a, a Wall Street background. I always wondered. Well, you know, you always hear politicians. They funnel the, they funnel the information, right? They funnel this information from Congress and and uh, political influence, and they funnel it out to Wall Street, and that's inside of trading, right? Because they're using the information to take up positions, like George Soros. They take up positions, either long or short positions, because they have inside information into the news that's going to be released before the rest of the street knows, right? That's inside of trading that's highly illegal. It's 100% tolerated on Wall Street after 2008 crash, right? Because everybody's in bed with each other. So it's, it's a big game. It's Goldman Sachs, City, Citibank, right? So you got this guy... You know, George Webb, he's out there banging the pavement, exposing it. And what he's what he's telling you is that it's not Guccifer, okay? We've we discovered we discovered in in the <laughs> we we have recently discovered that it wasn't a, a Russian hack. We've known it all along that the DNC rigged the primary against Bernie Sanders, and then they tried to say that the Russians hacked their computer system. The Russians didn't hack their computer system. We know the Awan brothers. There's your leak. There's been information. There is no confidentiality. There is no... It doesn't even exist anymore. They're selling off the congressmen. The people in power are selling state secrets to whoever... To the highest bid. There, there is no more United States. It's sell it off to the highest bid. And you might think, well, it's, it's foreign... You know foreign terrorists and all that. Yeah, that's part of it. But the bigger part is Wall Street. You know how much money, like, for example, people that invest in a company like Lockheed Martin or Boeing, people that sell bombs and planes to the feed the military-industrial complex, 
if they can take up positions in if, if investors can take up positions in those companies prior to announcements that you just saw 700 billion dollars was allocated to um, military spending now right who's going to get that 700 million dollars or billion was it a billion or a million I don't know. a hell of a lot of money of discretional spending was is allocated and is now on the table so they need a fucking war they need a war how do you get a war how do you get a war start a race war at home right start a race war right that's a great one shoot up some people in Las Vegas <laughs> that story doesn't add up that's a false flag of course it is you know that right but that but this is this is where we are people so again I, I just want to bring it I want to bring it down a level I'm, I'm talking about a very sensitive issue of racism right but at some point if I'm if I'm pointing it out to you don't take it personal say hey you know what Conti is is he's there's some there's some truth to what he's saying is that a lot of the things he's talking about I don't even I don't know I didn't know that right that there's no I learn things every day every day doing this and and I try to only speak when I'm when I got my finger on it right that's part of the art of war right the art of war is you only fight a war when you know you can win and this is a war that I can win right I know that I already won I've already proved my case right in the court of public opinion right so so that was a lot right? that was a lot so this is um, th this is the this is the new warfare right I want to tell you like this I don't I don't have I don't have a lot of support okay you know I don't have any support right I'm doing this on, on, a, on a shoestring or with a you know, somebody gave me the cell phone. I was using an iPad for the longest time, right? So, so that that's my that's my point this morning. That I, I I fundamentally realized that that the courts, that the agencies, that the political instrument is so clogged that no matter how, instead of coming to my rescue, the city should be. They should be knocking on my door, giving me an award for exposing corruption in the, in the city agency. Instead, what do they do? They come at me with two thousand lawyers and try to <laughs> corporate counsel try to bury me, try to try to make the whole case go away, try to paint me as a racist and a radical and a and, and a criminal and a you know white supremacist or whatever the hell they whatever the hell they're trying to trying to concoct. Someone is argumentative and, and, and undisciplined and uneducated and stupid. You know, dumb white guy. That's what they try to. That's what they try to paint me to be, right? All I was doing was, all I was doing was standing up for myself, right? So it starts from the bottom. That's what's going on right here, right? It starts from the bottom, right? At the bottom, right? Where you are right now? Where you are right now, right? It starts where you are right now. If you work in an agency and you see corruption, speak up, right? Speak up, right? That's what I'm doing. That's what I do. That's all I do. So anyway, it's a beautiful day in New York. I'm going to enjoy my day of white privilege. Go spend my food stamps. No job, food stamps. Right? White privilege. I'm, I'm privileged. I'm very, I feel very privileged. I feel very, very privileged because of the color of my skin. Right? 